हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर 15 एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज आवर एनवायरमेंट राइट सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विद द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट सो वी हैव हर्ड द वर्ड एनवायरमेंट ऑफन बीइंग यूज्ड ऑन द टेलीविजन इन न्यूज़पेपर एंड बाय पीपल अराउंड अस आवर एल्डर्स टेल अस दैट द एनवायरमेंट इज नॉट व्हाट इज यूज्ड टू बी अर्लियर अदर सेज that we should work in a healthy environment and global summits involving the developed and developing countries are regularly held to discuss environmental issues so uh, environment uh, word we have listened uh, in a different sentences or in a different way so basically in this chapter we shall be studying how various component in the environment interact with each other and how we uh impact the environment so basically uh we are going to study in detail about the environment its component and is interaction with each other right okay so here let's we start with the first topic how do our activities affect the environment see uh up to morning uh, till we go for the bed we are doing so many activities and that activities anyhow will affect the environment so we are an integral part of the environment changes uh, environment changes in the environment affect us and our activities change the environment around us we have already seen in class 9 how our activity pollute the environment in many ways we are polluting the environment right in this chapter we are going to study about this and two of the uh, two of the environmental problems in detail and that is the depletion of ozone layer and waste disposal these are the two main questions uh, regarding the environmental problem so these two problems we are going to discuss in this chapter so let's we start with the first problem so the first problem is the ozone layer depletion right so ozone layer and how it is getting depleted so ozone having a molecular formula is o3 is a molecule formed by three atoms of oxygen while o2 which we normally refer as oxygen is essential for all aerobic uh, forms of life as we all know that all the living organisms mainly depends on the oxygen for their respiration right so it means all the aerobic uh, forms of life will depend on the oxygen ozone is a deadly poison however at the higher level of the atmosphere ozone performs an essential function though ozone is a deadly poison we are not going to inhale the ozone but still ozone having an importance in uh, the higher levels or higher altitude of the atmosphere so ozone for perform an essential function so it shields the surface of the earth from uv radiations from the sun so it's basically uh, protecting us or protecting earth just like a shield from the ultraviolet radiations which is coming from the sun and these radiations is highly uh, is highly damaging uh, to organisms for example it is known to cause skin cancer in human beings so if a uv radiation or ultraviolet radiation is directly fall or fall onto the earth surface then it can cause the harmful or uh, damaging effect over the organism and that is the examples are causing skin cancer in human beings they can also affect the plants and other living organisms so ozone at a higher levels of the atmosphere is a product of uv radiations acting on oxygen molecule and the higher energy uv radiation split apart some molecule of oxygen into free oxygen atoms and these atoms then combine with the molecular oxygen to form ozone so basically the uh, oxygen will be present in the atmosphere this oxygen by uv radiation will be split up into two free radical of the oxygen right uh, or maybe during lightning or thunder also this phenomenon will going to be takes place that oxygen molecule will be split up into its free atom right so this free atom of the oxygen will once again combine with the oxygen molecule and form ozone right so like this with the ozone formation will going to be takes place at the higher level the amount of ozone in the atmosphere began to drop sharply 
in 1980s right because from 1980s we are uh, uh, developing it means we are start using uh, vehicles and we are start using uh, sorry uh, we are start using the sources in which the carbon dioxide is releasing more and more and this decrease uh, has been linked to synthetic chemicals like chlorofluorocarbon that is also abbreviated as cfc so uh, basically chlorofluorocarbon it is a uh, mainly responsible for the depletion of ozone layer is used in the refrigerator as well as in a fire extinguisher now in 1987 the united nation environment program which is abbreviated as unep united nation environment program succeeded in uh, forging uh, an agreement to freeze cfc production at 1986 Uh, levels right so they uh, stop using the cfc in the production of freeze because as we as i have discussed that cfc uh, that is the chlorofluorocarbon is mainly responsible for the depletion of ozone and as per one survey it has been said that one chlorine atom can deplete one lakh molecule of ozone so we can see how much it will be affected for the depletion of ozone layer so the cfc use in the refrigerator is going to be stopped It is now mandatory for all the manufacturing companies to make CFC free refrigerator throughout the world right so nowadays whatever the refrigerator we are going to purchase it must be CFC free it must be free from the chlorofluorocarbon so instead of uh, CFC now they have start using HFC so basically chlorine is responsible for the depletion of ozone so they have replaced the chlorine with hydrogen atom so it would be now hydro uh, hydrofluorocarbon right because mainly chlorine is responsible for the depletion of ozone layer